So first thing I want to show you is the um, the leather. Uh, you can see that it wears, I mean, I think it wears really nice. This isn't um, everybody's ideal, but, um, you know, I think it's a very um, Japanese thing, um, finding the um, beauty not only in the new and perfect, but in the marks and changes of something over time. And um, I personally find these things beautiful. Um, if, if you are not somebody who like appreciates this look, then um, you know you might want some kind of coated or different kind of leather. Um, but just a, a close up here. It's gotten very shiny over years. Um, it's definitely matter when you first get it. Um, I have had to change these strings because they do wear out. Uh, I didn't use the tin clasp. I didn't find it difficult to write with it, but it was just easier to do it this way. And, um, and, and I like the them strung vertically. I don't really like the um, elastics across the spine. I don't like the way it looks and I don't like the way it caves in the um, bottoms, but that's, you know, obviously a personal preference. Um, this is a rub-on transfer. Um, the brand is, I think, American Crafts. It's a Mini Marks transfer. Um, I don't think they make them anymore, but I have seen them on eBay uh, from time to time. And this has been on for years. Um, it's, you know, wearing off, but it's not wearing off like in a peeling way that looks a mess. It's wearing off in a shabby chic kind of way. Um, now, there are people who have them more scratched up in a shorter period of time than me. I mean, it's based on use and uh, stuff like that. So I've had a couple of questions about the pen loop. I almost never use it. Um, I have the large one. And I mean, I like the Midori products. I really like them. I mean, I like the elastic bands. I know that there's a lot of alternatives, but most of the things work as they were intended, last really well, and are easy to use. And I think that this is probably the exception to that. Um, it fits a... No, it doesn't. It doesn't fit a Coletto for barrel. Um, it doesn't fit the pen I use most, which is the um, three color friction at all. And any pen that might fit, might not fit if it has one of these silicone grips. Um, a pen that it fits pretty well is the, um, what is this? It's a slicky multi-pen. Um, it's just the right size and it has no grip. The problem with this is, is that this gets bigger over time. So even pens that fit when you take them in and out, it moves like this. Um, a better option really is to slip it on the top and use a smaller pen. But, you know, I mean, I think we all have our pen preferences. And unless the pen that you want you know, fits really here, it's going to overshoot the sides. And th this just isn't, you know, it slides around when you take it out. It's pretty expensive for what it is. Um, you know, it's a good option because I'm sure they didn't want to be poking holes in the leather. But it's not nearly as functional as um, most of the Midori products. You know, period. Um, it certainly lasted. 
I got this in April of 2011. I got this shortly after, um, you know, and it still looks brand new. Um, you know, it's not going to fall apart, but it's, it's just fiddly and it's kind of a pain in the neck. And the other thing I wanted to talk about is this is the Hobonichi. Um, this is from Hobonichi. And it's sort of like a cross between a bookmark and a pen loop. And I just think that this is one of Hobonichi's few fails. Um, it came in a bunch of colors, but it's just sort of painted. It's not, um, you know, a gold metal. It's a gold painted metal. And when you put the pen in and out, it sort of scratches on the um, leather, which is going to wear it. Um, it also, when you do the pen clip, this is where the paint starts chipping first. And it just feels cheap. Um, I mean, if they came out with something like this in a more sturdy, better model, for me, that would probably be a good idea. Although I found I didn't like carrying my pen there. Um... So that's that. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show is, I think a lot of people have questions about these, um, how well they're going to last. And I didn't buy these with the notebook, but I bought these not that long after. So they've been on almost five years. Um, and the back is still stuck firmly. Where it breaks is the um, in the sides. This one was used the least. It's just stuck on fine. This one was probably used the most. And it's also coming apart at the seams. But it's firmly stuck on. I, I know, like a lot of people... I know when Brian Goulet did a video initially when they started carrying Midori's, he thought these were for the um, notebooks. But they're not. They're they're meant to, to stick on the leather, and they do stick on the leather. Um, again, this one is okay. I mean, it's probably because this these two are three sided, you know, so they don't have the same um, force on these edges. But um, you know, if you ever look at these and think, "Wow, that's really expensive for a pocket." Um, you know, just, you know, think about that. I mean, these, I'm going to change these because I don't want stuff falling out, but it's not because of the leather sticking. Um, I think that was it. I rebought these, um, pockets and I will be putting them on now. How much did I use this? Um, I've been using it consistently from, I'm gonna say the end of 2013. Um, right now I'm in that phase of the year where I use all my planners, you know, at once. I'm, I've got a bunch of them going here. I've got the um, one from Glenda going. I've got the Hobonichi, I've got my pocket, um, uh, my passport, not my pocket. Uh, I'm not going to do a ring binder. I'm just not happy with Filofax. I I have a Malden, but that's going to be too bulky. And there have just been so many problems with the production at Filofax. I'm not interested in um, going to Filofax. And I am really happy with the bound planner system. So at the end of 2013, I did that and... I didn't expect to end up in the Midori. In fact, I, um, I mean, no, it was the end of two, 2014. No, I don't, 2014. I had been in the Hobonichi most of the year and I started using all my planners to see and I never expected to end up in a traveler's notebook. I even bought last year's uh, Hobonichi. Um, so this has been used I would say for over a year now, um, daily, um, either 
daily all day or just daily some of the time. And it's really, um, it's really held up uh, really, really wonderfully. Um, and I guess that's really it. Um, I think I talked about everything I wanted to talk about. And I hope that gives um, a different perspective um, on how things um, look, how they wear, and a few of the products that were sort of fails for me. So thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.